Do you remember when Apple started selling the 12 watt adapter along with the iPad 4? Well, this is now over as the iPad Air 2 comes with a standard 10 watt adapter. My question is, is it worth using a 12 watt adapter? Is there any difference at all? Let's find out. We have two test devices here. The all new iPad Air 2 Wi-Fi only running iOS 8.1 and the iPad 3 Wi-Fi plus cellular running iOS 7.1.4. On the right side you can see the current power in what. So, let's begin with the 10 watt adapter. So this comes uh, with the iPad 3 and the iPad Air 2. Let me zoom in and here you can see it. So that's a standard adapter. Okay, let me adjust the focus and now let's plug it in. Okay, so you see it's working. Um, let's connect the cable. Let's begin with the iPad 3. So connect it. Both devices are almost fully charged, so sorry about that. But they're still charging, they're not at 100%, so it should be fine. So we see 11.1, 11, 11, okay, that's pretty normal, a bit more than expected. So now it's the iPad Air's turn. We have a new connector, the lightning connector, which is not all new, but yeah, iPad 3 is quite old. And now we can see it's charging at 13 watt. Okay, this is interesting because that is more than it should be. So at around 12.9. Again with the 10 watt adapter. So let's try it again. But this time it should be faster. I hope so. So you can see this adapter. Oops upside down. <laughs> okay. So this is the original one, of course, European one, as you can see. So let's swap them. Plug it in again. And where's the cable? Here's the cable. Let's begin with the iPad 3. And we can see that it's charging at 11.6, okay. Let's wait until the screen turns off. 10.6. Okay, this is even lower with the higher adapter. Interesting, kind of weird. Okay, it's slightly dropping, but we can say at about 10.5. And now, last but not least, the iPad Air 2. Again, with 12 watt adapter powered by Apple, and we have 14.2, and it stays there, okay. 13.7, okay, 13.7. So as you can see, there's actually a difference between a 10 and 12 watt adapter if you want to charge your iPad. However, the iPad 3 charged at only 11 watt instead of 12, and the iPad Air 2 at 14 instead of 12. There should be no problem at all with the 14 because the Apple power adapters are solid, they're alright, but beware that inofficial ones might explode or they might make some problems, okay? So I'm not sure if I can recommend a 12 watt adapter. It's just 19 bucks, so you can grab it and return it if you don't like it. And there, for 6 hours of charging time, 30 minutes less seems okay. I'm not quite sure why the iPad 3 charges uh, not really faster but even slower with the higher adapter but there might be some weird results because they're almost fully charged. For the iPad Air 2, I'd say try it. For the iPad 3, I'd say maybe try it too, but there might be some weird results. It might uh, charge slower, but the battery is bigger, so you might have to charge the iPad 3 longer than the iPad Air 2. So as always, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you liked it, like it if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Just tell me what you think. 
And next up is the iPad Air 2 versus the Nexus 9 in a speed comparison test and I'll give you some thoughts about them and if I like iOS or Android more and why I will keep one of them. So make sure to subscribe. Bye for now. So we have two test devices, your new iPad Air 2 Wi-Fi only running iOS 1. Fuck. However, um, the iPad Air 2 was good.